Whether people buy a pickup truck for business or pleasure, they want to know how long will it last? What do they get for their money? What will it do for them that other trucks can't? Chevrolet trucks are built totally tough to last long. For example, this 16-year-old Chevy truck is still working. In fact, percentages of Chevrolet trucks still working show that over 55% of 1956 model Chevrolet trucks are still on the job, based on R.L. Polk official industry statistics. No other make has even half. And percentages for later years prove Chevrolet trucks last long. What are some of the reasons for this kind of a record? Part, but only part of the story, is in the construction of the cab and body. To help explain the value of Chevrolet pickup construction features, here is a series of comparisons with Chevrolet and a competitive make pickup, authenticated by Nationwide Consumer Testing Institute. For the first demonstration, we just hit the doors. Now, how about the rules? Chevrolet, double panel. The other truck, single panel. What does Chevrolet's double panel strength mean on the job? Watch this demonstration. Most of the damage is on the outside. Chevrolet's inner roof panel is only slightly damaged. Now the same demonstration with the other truck. And with its paperboard headliner, the damage goes all the way into the cab. Now let's look at cargo box construction. Chevrolet Fleetside's inner box wall goes all the way to the top. The other trucks only partway. Here's a demonstration on the job to show you what it means. Chevrolet Fleetside's full depth inner box absorbs damage like this without passing it on to the outer panel. In the same demonstration with the other truck. The damage goes right through to the outside. Chevrolet Fleetside's full depth double wall box is built tough to last long. Another long life feature is Chevrolet's one-piece steel inner fender. It helps keep Chevrolet's on the job by warding off stones, water, and salt spray to help protect the engine compartment and outer body panel. The other truck's splash guard, as you can see, doesn't do as effective a job of protecting the engine compartment and body panel. Let's look at those features again. Chevrolet gives you double wall construction, a truck within a truck, inner roof inside the outer roof, one-piece steel inner fenders. Full-depth inner walls for the fleet side box, side panels, and tailgate. In the other truck, you don't get steel inner fenders or the extra strength of a double cab roof. And only halfway protection of inner box walls that go only as high as the wheel housings. Now, let's compare chassis features. Chevrolet's front shock absorbers have a shield, which is designed to help keep out dirt and moisture, thus give long service life and low maintenance costs. The other truck's front shock absorbers are smaller and do not have a protective shield. Chevrolet's entire exhaust system is made of aluminized steel to help resist rust and increase service life. The other truck's exhaust and tailpipe are not aluminized, thus are less resistant to rust. Chevrolet's exhaust system even has more metal, weighing 14 pounds more than the other truck's exhaust system. Chevrolet's brake system has several built-in value features. For example, the vacuum power cylinder on the master brake cylinder is larger, with greater capacity than the other trucks. Chevy also has a proportioning valve to balance the pressure between front and rear systems. The other truck does not. Chevrolet brake lines are wrapped in strong steel wire loom in critical areas. The other truck's brake lines do not have the steel wire loom wrapping. At the top of Pikes Peak in this demonstration, 
A Chevrolet pickup with standard front disc brakes and a competitive pickup with standard front drum brakes are readied for a demonstration which will create intense heat buildup in both braking systems. The trucks head down the long, steep grade together. The drivers shift into low gear to reduce vehicle speed until they reach the halfway point. Then, the drivers shift into high gear and apply brakes as necessary to reduce speed. Now, the trucks complete the demonstration coming to the bottom of the grade. The front wheels are again removed to check how each system has retained or dissipated heat. Chevrolet's disc brakes. Now, the other trucks, drum brakes. And in this excerpt from a Chevrolet television commercial, the water-resistant characteristics of disc brakes are shown. In this demonstration, 175 gallons of water a minute under high pressure thoroughly drench Chevrolet's front disc brakes. Now, the heavily loaded Chevrolet pickup is sent down a canyon road with its brakes still being soaked. 40 miles an hour, 50, 60. Hit the brakes. A smooth, straight stop for the ninth straight time. Front disc brakes that are resistant to the effects of heat and water are standard on Chevrolet pickups. Front drum brakes are standard on the other truck. The ability of a truck to swallow jolts is a factor in how long it stays on the job and in the ride it gives to passengers and cargo. This ability depends mainly on the suspension system. Chevrolet's girder beam front suspension is massive with double pivot points to anchor it to the frame. It has proved its design ruggedness in a million and a half more trucks than any other make. The other truck's twin I-beam suspension is much less massive, with only a single pivot point on each side to hold it to the frame. This special demonstration from a Chevrolet television commercial shows how Chevrolet's suspension absorbs road shocks so they aren't passed on to the body. The dummy's seat is fastened to the front wheel. The live rider's seat is fastened to the cab. This shows how the front suspension takes the beating, not the rest of the truck. Stability is an important factor in carrying a load, such as a camper body, which raises the center of gravity. In this demonstration, Chevrolet and competitive make pickups are comparably equipped to haul identical camper bodies, with one important exception. Chevrolet offers a front stabilizer bar to help compensate for the higher center of gravity. A stabilizer bar is not available for the other truck. Here are the two vehicles on the same road at the same speed. And look at the difference. Power and performance are other important factors. To dramatize these qualities, here is an excerpt from a Chevrolet television commercial. Totally tough Chevrolet trucks deliver the power and performance to handle the job, even a job like this. Where a completely stock Chevrolet four-wheel drive pickup with a 350 V8 and turbo hydromatic and loaded to its 7,500-pound gross vehicle weight pulls a 747 jet weighing over 460,000 pounds. Chevrolet trucks help beat inflation by giving excellent value and an excellent return on investment. Chevrolet trucks are built totally tough to stay on the job long, whether it's helping the owner at work or helping him go where the fun is. Whether the need is for durability, ease of handling, basic transportation, comfort and versatility, or any other value, Chevrolet trucks answer the needs. Chevrolet trucks are totally tough built strong to last long.